live from Waller Stadium in beautiful Manhattan Beach, California, it's Bus Think Football 2008. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Lee, alongside, as always, with Jeremy Sadowski, and we're here to bring you CIF semifinal playoff action as your Miracosa Mustangs take on Palmdale Falcons. We'll be right back. And Palmdale in shocking here. First and ten. First offensive possession of tonight's contest. And they start off on the ground. And oh, the nice run. 12-yard run. Get the ball all the way out to the 50-yard line. First and ten. Palmdale with a first down on their first offensive possession. Expect to see a lot of uh, shocking tonight from Palmdale. It's uh, they continue in shotgun again a second run this time mustangs read it well two yard gain second and eight now for the mustangs i'm sorry for palmdale in shotgun looking middle under pressure oh and mustangs don't know if that's technically considered a sack i think he did get beyond the line of scrimmage either way it's a two yard loss third and ten palmdale now under pressure again scrambling left and he slides down, and Mustangs on their first defensive possession force Palmdale to punt at the 50-yard line. Mustangs on the return. That one may be loose. Mustangs keep it first down play. Gets about two yards. Second and eight. Yeah, Chris, this Palmdale team comes in ranked number one in the Western Division as we see number 45 Morgan Reese run to the left side. Be interesting to see if this Mustang team can upset Palmdale and the only reason why the Mustangs are at home is because they won the coin toss to get them here. Mustangs now keep it on the ground. This time it's number 33 Kellen Lockwood with the carry. Mustangs and offense led at quarterback by Kyle DeMarco, number 11. Hands off to one of his two big fullbacks. This one is Tavai, number 44, who pounds his way forward. Gets down to the 43. Mustangs down on first and 10. Get another three yards. Second down play. Second and eight, Mustangs keep it on the ground again this time. Twisting, spinning, and working his way to about the 49. Looked like that was number two, Rico Wright. In fact, it is, there's Rico coming off the field. Third down now for the Mustangs. None in motion. Pass to none. Out on the flat, and now oh, he works his way forward. Nice moves by Kyle Nunn to work his way forward enough for a Mustangs first down. First and 10 now, Mustangs. Shift looks like it's gonna be play action. DeMarco go to the air and oh, none has tripped. Don't see a flag, I'm looking for one. It uh, looked like uh, they're gonna just call that one incidental contact as uh, DeMarco going for the big hit there on first down, going for none, but none was tripped up. Double covered anyway, but with none, you never know what can happen. Mustangs now on second and 10. It's a sweep right, and that one goes Ooh, that one stopped just about the line of scrimmage. Morgan Reese with the carry. Of course, get used to hearing quite a few names called at tailback for the Mustangs. Morgan Reese, Kellen Lockwood, Chris Lopeman. Here, he, uh, he may be back tonight. Now it's a straight drop back. DeMarco throws it. Uh-oh, that one's intercepted. 
one of the few turnovers we've seen from the Mustangs offense uh, this season since Kyle DeMarco took over at quarterback. That was a big one there as now Palmdale will take over first and 10 at the 39. We're here in the opening quarter. The score is notched at zeros apiece. And there's a flag on at the play. And it's motion against Palmdale. Repeat of first down, now it'll be first and 15. And it's a handoff to the second back through, which is read beautifully by the Mustangs. Great job by that defensive front to not be fooled at all. Chris Joe Tavai and his older brother, Jordan Tavai. Of course, uh, this Mustangs defense, I've been uh, touting it uh, especially heavy the last couple weeks. Maybe the best defensive Mustang group we've seen since the uh, Michael Oko days. Of course, the Mustangs uh, fan know Michael Oko, former Mustang player, now playing uh, linebacker for the Chicago Bears, certainly knows uh, his uh, defense. That's just how good this Mustangs defense has been. It's third and 12 now for Palmdale. Wide receiver middle screen, and that goes for only about four. They needed much more than that. J uh, that was uh, Jordan Tavai, I'm sorry, and Kellen Lockwood both involved on that tackle, and that will be a fourth down punting situation for Palmdale. In fact, uh, Jeremy, I can't even remember the last time uh, the Mustangs defense has given up over 20 points. It's been uh, quite some time now. This defense really uh, leading the way as, uh-oh, that one, a flag is on the play. The punter has kept the ball. I don't believe that was the design play. It didn't look like anyone else was blocking. I think the, uh, the punter just panicked. Of course, the Mustangs wisely uh, will decline that penalty and take it where the punter was tackled. Mustangs now with great field position get about USA almost two yards on first down. It's going to bring up second and eight and a half for the Mustangs. Williams in motion. And Mustangs give it to the second back through. Oh, nice move. Kellen Logwood with a nice little stutter step slash stiff arm sliding his way forward for well, I'd say about a nice uh, four or five yard gain by the Mustangs. Third down now here in the opening quarter. Third and six. And it's a receiver screen to Michael Town that works for a Mustangs first down. Of course, uh, while this team is uh, pretty junior heavy, Michael Town definitely one of these seniors who uh, is a stalwart on both offense and defense for the Mustangs. Tim's been making great catches at that receiver position all season long for this uh, Mustang offense. DeMarco now under center. And it's play action. He's looking right. He throws right. He has a man right in. It's J.R. Tavai. First in goal coming up for the Mustangs. What a big time catch here in this opening quarter. Of course, uh, both Tavai brothers, big time influences on this uh, Mustang team. JR, both defensively and offensively. Now it's Kelly Lockwood, bounces off a tackle, and he gets in soon. He has himself a Mustangs touchdown. Mustangs get on the scoreboard first here in the CIF semifinal game. The kick is up, it's high, it's straight, and it is good. Mustangs lead this contest seven to nothing here in the opening quarter. Yeah, Chris, the Mustangs went to the pass a little bit more this start of this game than in the previous playoff games as we saw a nice completion of J.R. Tavai that led to Kellen Lockwood's short touchdown run. As well as that uh, nice uh, wide receiver screen to uh, Tam that uh, worked for a Mustangs first down and a uh, quick hitch out to uh, Kyle Nunn, that uh, also worked for uh, Mustangs positive yardage. So Mustangs definitely went to the air 
And oh, what a monster hit up there. Uh, I'm sorry, that's Jake Chalmini up high and Chris uh, Chris Joe, the linebacker down low. What a great hit. And just to finish that thought real quick, uh, Mustangs overall in the uh, previous playoff games have really come out run heavy. That time the Mustangs uh, coaching staff knowing that Palmdale would be ready for the run. Wisely have gone to the air and now we'll end this And welcome back to the start of the second quarter. Of course, Mustangs lead this contest. So, third down situation here for Palmdale. Of course, Mustangs in their home green and gold. Palmdale on the road whites. Palmdale decides to run a little QB keeper, which is read nicely by the Mustangs that will be close to a first down. I think you may be a air shy, but let's see where they spot this one. In fact, they did get just enough for the first down. Palmdale will have this first and 10. Under pressure, scrambling, looking right, throwing right, and it's caught. That looks like their tailback out of the backfield, and oh, nice play. Finally brought down the big hit by Williams. Great job. Williams and Joe Meadey, a couple of defensive linemen running all the way down the field to be involved in that tackle. Nice hustle out there by the Mustangs D. Meantime, it is a first and 10 Palmdale. Palmdale still in chocolate, four receiver set, one running back, dump off is to the running back and that ball is dropped. Boy, uh, number five couldn't have had that one uh, thrown any more perfectly to him, but simply dropped the ball, although he was about to get lit up. Meantime, it's second and 10 now for Palmdale. Still same four receiver set, and it's a QB keeper. Uh-oh, that one works for a big play. Finally brought down at the 22 by number four, B.J. Fafita. Meantime, that 23-yard scamper will get Palmdale another first down. Palmdale goes to the air. It's up to the corner. It's a fight, and oh, Palmdale has a touchdown. Beautiful coverage out there by Rico Wright, but <laughs> two number twos battling for it. Rico tipped it, and Palmdale's number two was able to come down with Palmdale's first touchdown, and oh, that kick is blocked. Point after attempt is blocked by Williams. That could be a huge factor. You got to figure a tight contest like this may come down to a simple play as a blocked point after attempt. Wow, that could be big, Jeremy. Yeah, Chris, remember in, uh, what was it, the first round of the playoffs against Eastside, Maricosta squeaked out with a one-point win. So like you said, that block could be a key, key play in this game. Palmdale now set to kick. Of course, the score now seven to six. Mustangs maintain a one point lead. And finally brought down at the 27 yard line. Nice return out there. That was Kyle Nunn. Returning the uh, kickoff for the Mustangs. Decent uh, field position here for America. So let's see if they can take advantage of it. First and 10, man in motion. And it's a run straight up the middle. Oh, no, that one is Morgan Reese. Morgan with a couple nifty sidestep moves. Works his way forward to about the 35. Can we get a second and short for the Mustangs? Oh, 
There was a turnover on the play at the end. Palmdale will take over, first and 10. Reese fumbled at the end of that play. So instead of second and short, Mustang sits first and 10, Palmdale. Palmdale keeps it on the ground. Second and four coming up after the, uh, or second and six after the four yard run. And it's play action. Complete to the uh, wide, re wide receiver there running just a quick hitch pattern. Tackled nicely by Chris Joe. That will bring up a third down situation now for Palmdale. And there is a timeout on the field, third and short. Of course, uh, both teams know how important this play is. Here in the second quarter, Mustangs leading seven to six. Palmdale with a chance to get something else on the board here, and they run a QB keeper. Looked like option left. QB decided to keep it himself and gets the first down. Again, second quarter, Mustangs lead seven to six. Mustangs in the home, green and gold. Palmdale on the road, white. Ball is spotted at the 21 yard line. First and 10, Palmdale. CIF playoff semifinals. And uh oh, that one stopped. Flag on the play, and that penalty is delay of game against the offense. Re wow, delay of game just after a. Uh, Big play there. Not the uh, kind of momentum Palmdale's coaches were looking for. This time they complete the pass, but tackled immediately by the safety cam. Good job by Michael Tam to make sure uh, Palmdale gets nothing on the uh, yardage after the catch. Second and long now for Palmdale. And in motion, sent away. Palmdale shotgun, three receivers to the left. Running back still standing out there to the left, but nevertheless, does not matter. Mustangs defense read that one beautifully and get the sack. Jordan Tavai and Matt Williams both combined on that one. Third down now situation for Palmdale. Third and long, third and 14. The ball's in the air, it's caught. Knocked down, great uh, team tackle there. By uh, Moro and Tam, but that one is good for first. It's a QB keeper on the option and they get into the end zone. Palmdale now on two consecutive offensive possessions get into the end zone. Touchdown Palmdale, now they're going for two. Trying to recoup about over that uh, blocked point after camp. The ball is up and it's good. Two point conversion successful. That makes the score of this contest now 14 to seven Palmdale with the lead. Palmdale capitalizing on the great field position after the uh, Mustangs turnover. Let's see if the Mustangs can answer right back. Here in the second quarter, Palmdale leading now 14 to seven. None again on the return. He got the uh, Mustangs out to the 27 last time. This time gets out to you about the 25. Let's see what the Mustangs do here. Uh, time starting to run out here in the second quarter. Mustangs will have to put on one nice long drive and end this quarter with the touchdown. Let's see if they can do it. They start off on the ground and uh oh, that one goes nowhere. That one's in fact stopped for a loss. 
Mustangs now on second and 11. Three receiver set for DeMarco. Mustangs keep it on the ground. And oh, Rico right with the runaway speed. Burst his way through the line of Popko's Weasel. He gets down to the 43 yard line. Rico Ride with the big time carry for the Mustangs. Mustangs now on first and 10. Oh, another big run straight up the middle. That one was just straight raw power. That is Chris Lopeman. Good to see the uh, senior back on the field for the Mustangs, doing what he does best, putting the head down, using that uh, strength and speed combination. Gets nine yards on the run, second and one for the Mustangs. Here in the second quarter, Mustang trail now all of a sudden, 14 to seven. Trying to get something else on the board here, keep it on the ground and twisting and spinning and working his way to what may be a first down is of course number 45 Morgan Reese for the Mustangs and in fact that is good for a first down and that was all second effort as Morgan was stopped really almost two yards behind the line of scrimmage but really worked his way forward to get that first down for the Mustangs Cam in motion. DeMarco with the handoff. And this time, power left does not go anywhere. Maybe Mustangs maybe get two yards on the play. And Reese comes out. Lopeman comes back in. Second and eight for the Mustangs. And again, Mustangs keep it on the ground. And uh oh, Lopeman with another big carry. He works his spins and powers his way down to the eight yard line. Fresh and goal, Mustangs. Boy, this is exactly the kind of offensive possessions this uh, coaching staff was hoping for after giving up two consecutive touchdown drives to Palmdale. Mustangs now. Uh, after Palmdale had clearly gotten the momentum on their side, trying to get it back with a nice long drive that started at their 25 yard line. Mustangs taking a timeout here, but this has been an impressive drive here. Mustangs uh, led, especially on the ground here. Rico Wright with the big carry, as well as two big carries now by the senior Lowman. First and goal, Mustangs ball spotted at the eight yard line. Three back formation. And handoff goes to the second back here. That's Tavai. He gets down. Oh, he almost gets in. Still kind of waiting for the call, but oh, it's going to be second down. I thought he got in. His uh, brother Jordan out there trying to argue for it, trying to call for the touchdown as well. Boy, I don't know, Jeremy. I, I thought he got in, but they're calling it second and inches. On the way, this drive is looking good for the Mustangs. Still in that three-back formation. It's a QB keeper. DeMarco pounces Rainer straight up the middle, and that's a Mustangs touchdown. Yeah, Chris, we both know how effective that QB keeper can be right up the middle on short yardage. It's really tough for that defensive line to, I mean, because they commit to either side, and the quarterback reads it reads the block of his center perfectly and into the end zone he goes touchdown mustangs good job on the mustangs again going mainly to the run on that drive and pounding it right into the end zone yeah demarco actually could have uh, gotten about four or five yards the way that offensive line was really pushing in front of him easily got in for the uh, the end zone for the touchdown Mustangs now tied this game up at 14 apiece here in the second quarter. Mustangs now on the kickoff and a little script kick. 
taken by one of uh, Palmdale's up men down at the 29 yard line. They will start first and 10 here at the 29 second quarter. Scores tied at 14. And oh, Mustangs get the pressure and get the sack. Good pressure. Boy, that one was uh, J.R. Tavai after a big run in offense. He got his uh, meat hooks into the quarterback, would not let go, and threw him down for the sack. Mustangs go with the blitz this time. Oh, somehow Palmdale's quarterback gets away. And oh, what a monster hit. The ball's loose. The ball comes loose. Palmdale says they have it. Mustang's still waiting here. And oh, they do keep it. But boy, Williams coming from the backside did not give up on the play. And boy, did he lay a lick on Palmdale's quarterback, knocking the ball loose. Timeout, meantime, on the play. It's going to bring up a third down and short situation. Third and about two. We'll call it a long two here for Palmdale. They need to get to just past the 29 yard line. Let's see if they can do it. Mustangs would love to get the stop here and keep uh, Palmdale at 14 going into uh, halftime. This time, oh, it's an end around. They started to run option off. They pitch it out to the uh, receiver who stopped short, will not get the first down. Great job reading that one. B.J. Fafina out there involved in that one. Fourth down putting situation now and that one is down at the 40 yard line. Mustangs will take over. Boy, what a great job. Defense really stepped up on that last uh, possession by Palmdale after giving up two consecutive touchdowns on Palmdale scoring drives. Mustangs D that time really stepped up all around group effort. D lineman way up the field, getting back down the field, making plays like Williams. Great job to get the ball back to the offense here now. DeMarco on the uh, draw play. It's Loman straight up the middle and he gets down to the 39 yard line. Oh, what a run by the senior Chris Loman. Mustangs hurry up to the line, trying to see if they can get something else on the board here before halftime. Looks like instead of spiking it, they're actually gonna try to run a play. And it's play action. DeMarco under pressure. He keeps it, runs up the field, and oh, he's hit. Gets down to about the uh, 39 yard line. Mustangs now rushing up to the line. They may have to spike it here. Let's see. Second down, and they do. Good job, DeMarco, to get that one down. May have been uh, better uh, if DeMarco had just thrown that one away. At least that way the uh, clock would have not kept uh, running. But uh, those are the kind of things uh, DeMarco will learn and hopefully bring back to his uh, senior season next year. He's done a great job running this offense since he's uh, taken over at the quarterback position. Marco now in shotgun. Under pressure, trying to escape. He does, this time he's looking for the sidelines. Does he get there? I don't think he did. He did get a first down. So that will at least temporarily stop the clock. Nice job though. You can see uh, DeMarco just learning right there. The previous play, he went straight up the middle. That time, just two plays later, he learned, tried to get to that sideline, although it was a long run. Smart play. Either way, got the first down. DeMarco now under pressure again, and uh-oh, there's no choice for him but to go down. Too risky to try to throw that one. That one would have uh, caused a fumble if he had tried. Mustangs rush up to the line of scrimmage. They down the ball. One second on the clock. Mustangs go for the field goal. The kick is up. It is long enough. 
but it is no good. That will end this first half. Fans will be right back for the second half. And welcome back to, uh, as we get ready for the second half here, of course, uh, Palmdale leads this contest 14 to 13. Uh, miss, uh, misidentified the score as 14 14. Of course, Mustangs missed a point after attempt that uh, makes it this 14 13 uh, score. Hopefully that will not come back to hurt the Mustangs in the end here. Uh, pretty tightly con contested game. Palmdale maybe not uh, getting as much in the air as uh, maybe they're used to. Of course, Mustangs uh, secondaries, we've been talking about all season long, probably one of the better secondaries in, uh, in uh, this uh, CIF division they're in. Uh, of course, uh, Rico right out there at corner almost had himself an uh, interception, got his hand, tipped the ball, in fact. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Palmdale's receiver was able to come down with it, but Boy, that is their only uh, touchdown uh, in the air there. As uh, just goes to show you, their only one they got was almost an interception to Rico Ryan. That's just how uh, tough these uh, Mustangs corners and uh, safeties are. Meantime, uh, Palmdale was able to capitalize on the only Mustangs uh, turnover, which in fact uh, kind of ruined a uh, speech I was about to give about how efficient this Mustang team has been in terms of lack of turnovers. Mustang's offense uh, really not giving up many turnovers at all. Uh, not one of the few, especially on the interception. DeMarco only has made only a couple of uh, interceptions all season. Really does a great job of uh, protecting the football, running this Mustang offense. Uh, However, a good team like Palmdale, you give them a chance, they will take advantage. They certainly did. That got them their second touchdown. And oh, meantime, Mustangs, wow, big time return. For some reason, they are kicking left uh, on all their uh, kickoffs there, which uh, goes right to uh, Kyle Nunn, Mustangs' big play receiver. Now tonight, he's been the big play return man. Getting that one all the way out to the uh, 43. He's had a couple other nice returns as well as a uh, Palmdale player is down. Boy, uh, Jerry, I know uh, Palmdale's a little worried about uh, Tam and, you know, occasionally uh, Rico right on the right side return. But uh, I don't know if they're that much better off going on the left side to Kyle Nunn either. Of 
course, uh, none with his uh, height. You think, you know, maybe he's uh, a little bit slower afoot, a little lankier receiver, but don't let that fool you. He is a fast, elusively quick receiver for the Mustangs. Yeah, Chris, this is a, uh, by the way, this is the third time that Maricosta has faced Palmdale in the playoffs. They are 2-0 and against Palmdale, including one big upset a couple years ago at Palmdale. So it'll be interesting to see if this Mustang team can pull off this comeback as we see a great run here by Kellen Lockwood getting out of bounds on the left-hand side. A great run indeed. That one works for a Mustang's first down 22-yard run by Lockwood along the left-hand side. Now, we've talked about it all season. Mustangs with some great running backs in their backfield at both the uh, tailback and fullback position. As we see uh, Lockwood again with another nice run. That one for about five. It's going to bring up a second and five for the Mustangs. Especially uh, now that uh, Chris Lohman is back and uh, running healthy. As in fact, speaking of Lohman, he's got the carry there and oh, almost turns the corner. Just tripped up by uh, Palmdale's uh, quarterback. Otherwise, he may have had end zone. Meantime, it's going to bring up a third and short for the Mustangs. But Mustangs are uh, really blessed with a lot of talent at the tailback and fullback positions. Cam in motion. And it's a handoff. Lopeman on the left-hand side. And he stopped. Short on the first down, Mustangs will be forced to punt. Actually, they're going to go for it. Mustangs decide to go for it because of the uh, kind of awkward field position. Flag is down, though. Let's see. Looks like a penalty against the Mustangs. Let's see if that changes uh, their mind at all. Here's the official call. And it is motion against the Mustangs. That'll bring up fourth and eight now. And now the Mustangs will punt. It's a high booming kick that takes a Mustangs bounce. And is down. Let's see where they're uh, spotted. Looks like they're going to spot this one around the. Uh, Around the 10 yard line. Nine yard line, we'll call it. And Palmdale now on first and 10 from the nine. And that run is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Oh boy, what a play out there. Kellen Lockwood and Jake Chilmini involved in that one, as well as Chris Joe. Second and nine now for Palmdale. Palmdale again goes with the run. Straight up the middle, and they pound the way towards the, just past the 20, and call it the 21. That should be just short. It'll be third and two for Palmdale. And it's a handoff. They were starting to run option left. They hand it to the first back through, and that does look like it's good enough for a first. To get out to the 25-yard line, it is first and 10, Palmdale. And oh, Mustangs get their hands on uh, Palmdale's back and the, uh, the Jordan Tavai gets, gets her hands on the back in the backfield. Jordan bursts through that uh, middle of the line up there, but uh-oh, caught for the face mask. That's a uh, free first down now as Palmdale gets the ball out to the 42. In shotgun, under pressure, uh-oh. That pocket's closing, he escapes it. So on his feet and finally brought down. Kevin Lockwood with the eventual tackle as well as uh, BJ Fofita involved on that hit. Mustangs almost came up with a big time, or would have been a big time sack. Instead, it's a second down situation here for Palmdale. Second and about five. And it's option right. 
They pitch it, and oh, Mustangs almost get the, uh, that one stopped in the backfield. Somehow, Palmdale's back just does get away, but it stopped short in the first. Third and one. Yet another third down situation here for Palmdale. Let's see if they convert this one. Uh oh, a little uh, bumble there as the uh, Palmdale quarterback ran into his fullback, but he was able to bounce off and get the Palmdale first down. First and 10 now, Palmdale here in the third quarter, leading 14 to 13. And it's play action. He's under pressure, he's scrambling. And finally brought down after a three yard gain. Kellen Lockwood involved on that hit. Second down and seven for Palmdale. Running up to 40, they run straight up the middle and get about two on the play. Chris Joe and Michael Tam involved in that tackle. The uh, middle linebacker and uh, middle safety. Strong safety coming up to make that hit. Third down situation now, third and five for Palmdale. They need to get to the 40. I'm sorry, the 34-yard line, they throw it. That has the distance, and it is not good. Completed, knocked down. Great job out there by the Mustangs D. It's uh, Morrow out there knocking that one down. Great job by Jackson. Creating a fourth down situation. Palmdale, uh-oh. They're running a fake punt, but they do decide to kick it. A rugby style kick. And let's see where they decide to down that one. Looks like they're gonna down that one way deep in the Mustang territory. Ball spotted at the six yard line. Mustang start off with the ball on the ground. Lopeman with the carry, pounds his way forward, gets to the 15. It's gonna bring up a second and four. Loman again with the carry. This time gets about two. Going to bring up third and about three now for the Mustangs. Third and short. And it's DeMarco with the QB keeper again. That offensive line doing a great job in front of uh, DeMarco on those QB keepers. What's uh, designed in theory to get you about half a yard to a yard instead is getting the Mustangs about four to five. This time it's Morgan Reese with the carry. Yeah, Chris, talking about all those QB keepers, it reminds me of how effective AC Santani was running that QB keeper for the Mustangs. And it, like you said, it can be a very effective play if you have the right lineman making the holes. And Mustangs keep it on the ground again. And oh boy, what a great run out there by the Mustangs. Of course, that's number two, Rico Wright with the carry and gets a Mustangs first down. Rico hit the right hole on that play, getting that first down. And Rico right again with the carry. This time he spins, twists, and works his way to just about the 40-yard line. Of course, uh, we mentioned the uh, Mustangs tailbacks. Uh, we often forget about uh, Rico. Maybe not necessarily a prototypical uh, tailback, but he's just such a great athlete. Mustangs uh, coaches will do whatever they can to get him on the field whether that's that receiver or uh, running back. He's got such a uh, great breakaway speed and athletic ability. It's like, you do whatever you can to get that young man in the game. 
Meantime now, Mustangs on first and 10, starting to put on a nice drive here that started all the way back to the six on a draw play. Get about one on the play. It's gonna bring him a second and nine. We're here in the third quarter as we get closer and closer towards the end of the third quarter. Mustangs trail right now, 14 to 13. Let's see if they can uh, continue this drive here and get back on the scoreboard and take this lead. Second and eight for the Mustangs. Ball spotted at the 47. Marco rolls left, throws left. And oh, just complete. Just barely uh, tiptoeing along that sideline there was uh, Kyle Nunn. What a great catch. Sideline catch there by Nunn, wow. Ball spotted out to 39. DeMarco play action. He's going deep. He has the man. He has none. And it's a touchdown, Mustangs. That will end this uh, quarter here. Uh, just about Kyle Nunn. Wow, what a great catch. Just made that sideline uh, catch to get a first down. Now he explodes and gets the touchdown. What a great job here as the Mustangs convert at the end of the quarter to retake this lead. Mustangs elected to go for one here. The kick is up, it's high, it's straight, and it is good. We'll be right back for the fourth and final quarter. And welcome back to the fourth and final quarter. Boy, what an exciting way for the Mustangs to uh, end that third quarter with a big time uh, reception there by Kyle Anand, who had previously uh, made a nice reception along the sideline. Then the Mustangs go deep, hit Nunn. That one's been waiting to happen uh, for the last couple games. DeMarco and Nunn of uh, just barely misconnected on that similar uh, little you know, quick post pattern. But boy, would they have, do they ever connect big time there. Getting the Mustangs back in the lead here at 20 to 14. Palmdale now in the fourth quarter trying to see if they can climb back. Uh-oh, Mustangs defense though, they will be tough in this fourth quarter. That's Williams there with the drag down sack. Mustangs D has been tough all season long, but especially so in the fourth and final quarters of games. Pressure again. Oh, Williams almost got a sack that time too. Pass is complete. Maybe enough for the first. Let's uh, double check that spot. But boy, Williams was uh, right in the face of Palmdale's quarterback. Luckily, he... Uh, Spun out of the way and just got away enough to uh, avoid the sack, but was not able to get enough for the first. Man in motion now. Palmdale with no running backs in the backfield. Under pressure again. And oh, somehow dumps it off. Oh boy, what a big hit out there. That's uh, Rico Wright showing that he can not only bat him down, but he can uh, bat the uh, receivers down as well. A nice uh, tackle by Rico. That's one thing the Mustangs uh, have done all, all night long is not really given up that many yards after the catch. Meantime now, uh-oh, that one's Williams again. He has been a monster this contest on the sack department. That one was a clean Backside tackle by Williams for the sack. Boy, what a uh, big time here uh, moment for the Mustangs defense to uh, really try to capitalize and put the pressure on. Every possession here, the Mustangs have been in the face of Palmdale's quarterback. Either getting the sack or at the sack or at least forcing him 
to uh, scramble. Yeah, Chris, like you said, this Mustang defensive line has been in the face or wrapped around the quarterback all all night long. And like you said, it, they haven't been put in the blitzes. They've been dropping back into coverage. But this off, I mean, this defensive line has dominated the line of scrimmage and has made it possible for the DBs like Rico Wright to get in good position to bat balls down and to tackle receivers once they catch the ball. Yeah, that's really the key. If you can get pressure by that uh, defensive front and avoid the uh, having to you know, bring the pressure by blitzing, you can really just focus uh, on coverage and get some great man-to-man -man coverage. Meantime, Mustangs do blitz that time. The ball is up into double coverage and knocked down. Rico Wright and BJ Fafita both combined on that on that play to make sure that that was not caught. They knocked it down. Great coverage. Boy, uh, Palmdale had not even an inch of space to try to get that one squeezed in there. Third down now for Palmdale. And uh, a little trickery here. End around, they're looking to throw it. They do throw it into deep Mustang coverage. And oh my goodness, caught. That one was caught by Palmdale. And frankly, I'll give Palmdale credit. That was all the receiver. He had to uh, come back at least a good seven yards back to the uh, ball there just to catch the other one. Otherwise, Mustangs had three players uh, teed up for the interception. Yeah, Chris, the appears that Palmdale is taking advantage of a bit of the fog rolling in on that play as as the end around um, option pass just ended up being almost like a punt. Need time now on second and seven. Palmdale on the uh, fake QB keeper and oh, brought down nicely by Williams. That's uh, another thing, Jeremy, that's really impressed me by the Mustangs D that tonight is all the D linemen, even when they're getting high pressure up the field, have still been breaking off and you know, being involved in the play even after it's passed them downfield. Williams uh, forced a fumble on one play just like that. Uh, Tavai and Jomini both have been in actively involved in the play after it gets past them. Not giving up really a true team uh, defensive effort is me time. Palmdale does get the ball down to the 19 yard line and will have a first and 10. Nice drive by Palmdale as they work this one all the way down here now to the 19. Mustangs have been getting a lot of pressure, but Palmdale is relentless. Meantime, that one uh, looks like Palmdale's QB actually fumbled that snap, was able to uh, get it luckily on a bounce. Bounce went right back into his hands, recovered it, and uh, did what he could to at least get a couple yards on the play. It's going to bring up a second down and eight now for Palmdale. Again, fans, we're here in the fourth and final quarter. Mustangs lead. And uh-oh, Mustangs, that one is uh, J.R. Tavai right in the middle there. Wrapped his, uh, his arms around Palmdale's running back. Would not let him break free. Lockwood, among others, uh, there to finish the play. But now it's third and eight. Palmdale going to the air, going deep air, and nothing is going on down there. Mustangs have the uh, end zone well covered. No good. That will bring up a fourth down situation here. Fourth and eight, Palmdale. What a monstrous fourth down. They complete it to the running back. Mustang stop it. Uh-oh, I don't think he got enough. I don't think he got enough. B.J. Fafita right there with the hit. And they did. Mustangs will take over on downs. Put a big time play by the Mustangs. D exactly when they needed it the most. On fourth down. Balls back to the offense now. Let's see if they can take some time off this clock. Run this one down here as they have the six point lead. Mustangs leading right now 20 to 14 here in the fourth quarter. Second down situation here. 
and Mustangs keep it on the ground. And oh boy, what a great run. That will be enough for Mustangs first. Lance uh, Weibel at fullback. Oh, does a great job leading the way for the Mustangs at tailback, tailback Kellen Monkwood. Wow, what a great block. Uh, did you see that one, Jeremy? Uh, Weibel right at the line of scrimmage. Really uh, nailed that inside linebacker, twisted, turned him outside. Really gave uh, Lockwood a chance to cut it up inside and right behind him and led the way to a nice uh, run there on first down for the Mustangs. Second and short play now. And again, Weibel with another big time block this time. Looked like that may have been Morgan Reese with the carry. Let's see. It's going to be close to another Mustangs first down. In fact, it was Morgan with the carry again. Lance Weibel this time blocking the uh, defender at the end of the line of scrimmage. The outside linebacker, Lance, uh, really came up, blocked him outside, giving uh, Morgan a chance to cut up just inside of him, and that may have been the difference for Mustangs first. Let's see. We're going to get the measurement here. Because it's that great blocking by, you mentioned Lance Weibel and the Mustang offensive line led by Mike Freeman, which has enabled this ground attack and this passing attack led by Kyle DeMarco to really flourish here in the playoffs. And that was good for first, first down play now. Mustangs keep it on the ground. I do see a flag come flying in late. Morgan Reese with the carry. And it's a holding call against the Mustangs. That's, you know, I gotta say, Jeremy, this Mustangs team really is uh, pretty well disciplined. You really don't see a lot of penalties at all each game, very few, in fact. Uh, that's actually the first holding call I can think of in the, uh, the last couple games. Meantime now on the repeat of first down, that one is stopped, maybe even for a loss of a yard. Morgan Reese again with the carry. Second down situation now for the Mustangs. And in motion. And Mustangs keep it on the ground. And that time it looked like maybe Lockwood with the carry. In fact, it was, got uh, flipped, but still got some good yardage. It's gonna bring up a, a third down and 11 now for the Mustangs. After that uh, holding penalty. Of course, that's one thing, uh, we, another thing we've been seeing a lot of uh, tonight that maybe we haven't seen as much in uh, previous games. And that's with uh, the movement of Matt Williams to uh, tight end. Uh, one thing I've been seeing a lot tonight is uh, Matt Williams from the tight end position going in motion, sort of, sort of a shift sideways motion as we see again here, and then turning into a lead blocker. That one's a busted play though. Looks like that's exactly what they were gonna do right there. Williams uh, motioning to a uh, potential lead block on a uh, power left. However, snap was fumbled and luckily picked up by DeMarco. Did what he could, actually got about five on the play, but the Mustangs needed 11. That will create a fourth down situation now for the Mustangs. Here again in the fourth quarter, Mustangs leading this contest 20 to 14. Timeout on the field, timeout by the defense. Again, you know, we talked about uh, senior leadership, always a, a big topic with the uh, high school sports. This is uh, one of those moments right here, fourth and nine, Mustangs will punt, but the man they are uh, going to be relying, or I should say the foot they're gonna be uh, relying on, Matt Williams, senior, 
this is a, ch a chance really for him to uh, ice this one. He uh, had a chance last week and did exactly that. And oh boy, it looks like he comes up with another dandy puck here. And it is down at the 26 yard line. Nice solid punt by Williams. We uh, of course saw him la just last week. It's very, very similar situation. Uh, chance for the Mustangs to ice the game. Williams really punted them deep, deep into the opponent's uh, backfield. He does it again here. Palmdale now, first and 10. Somehow completes it all the way Quarterback scrambled left under pressure. Stops throws complete opposite field right. Flag is on the play. Let's see what the call is. Mustangs had a lot of pressure as uh, they've been doing all night long, really with just that front group. And it is a call against, a face mask call against Palmdale. That sends it back all the way to the eight yard line. First down now and deep. Palmdale completes, but second down and still very long. Mustangs again with more pressure. They get the pass off and oh, almost picked off. That one is incomplete. Spencer Meserick had a chance of that one, but it's incomplete third down and long now for Palmdale. Come down in shotgun. He's scrambling again. He's nothing open downfield and gets out of bounds, but is short of the first. A flag does come down. Mustang players are saying it's against Palmdale, but let's see. It looks like it may be a holding call. In fact, uh, looks like it's definitely against Palmdale. They were going to be short. So uh, officials talking with the uh, Mustang Zach coaching staff to see if they want to decline and take it the uh, fourth down situation or uh, accept the penalty and really move them back. And they will take the penalty. It'll be a repeat of third down. Third and long. Palmdale trying to get something going here. Nothing is open downfield. Quarterback is forced to scramble. Runs out of bounds. Will not get enough. He is still about eight yards shy of the first down. It's going to create a fourth down. I got to assume Palmdale will go for it here. Let's, let's see. But fourth and eight. They are going for it. Four receivers set, five receivers set. Palmdale, no running backs. Quarterback scrambling. He throws it short and it's not good. And Mustangs will take over. That one skipped to the uh, running back. If complete, it would have been enough, but it was not complete. Mustangs closed quickly. Just under a minute left to go, 58 seconds to be precise. Mustangs now with the chance to ice this one. All they gotta do is take some knees and the Mustangs will be going to the CIF Finals next week. Jeremy, what do you say about that? Well, Chris, you're right. The Mustangs have earned their way, have punched their ticket, and they are going to the finals. They're gonna face either Alamany or Quartz Hill. They'll, play, they'll square off tomorrow, Saturday and we'll see who the Mustangs will go up against. Either way, because as you know, the Mustangs have had three home games to start these playoffs. They'll be on the road in the finals. Either we'll be up in Lancaster or we'll be in San Fernando Valley. Either way, the Mustangs are going to the finals. Thanks for tuning in, fans. Mustangs win the CIF semifinal contest against Palmdale. They are on their way to the finals. Congratulations, Mustangs. Thanks for tuning in, fans. I'm Chris Lee signing out for Jeremy Sadowski, and we'll see you next week.